nightmares in my head I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety filling up every space, no privacy And silently it could build and build until you finally see Whoa. Hey guys, it is Tuesday, tomorrow is Valentine's Day and I am currently trying to put together Valentine's Day bags for Axel's class. I said I wasn't going to do this. I said I was not going to do this. And here I am doing it. Because I had bought these little dinosaur ones. And I was like, you know, that's enough. They don't need a bunch of stuff. They always get so much stuff on these holiday parties. Like every parent just like goes crazy. Um, some more than others, obviously, but like, I'm not going to be that parent. I'm not going to like get a bunch of junk and look at me now. I have a table with a bunch of junk, <laughs> but it's fine. It's for the kids. It's for the kids. I just, you know, I just felt like this wasn't enough. I mean, it was definitely enough. It was totally enough, but I don't know. <laughs> Anybody else like that? I'm the same way when it comes to Christmas and it's like two days before Christmas and I'm going out and getting more stuff because I feel like it's just not enough. I don't know why I'm like this. Um, so yeah, I'm currently, I had Axel helping me in the beginning, which you see in the timestamp or the time lapse, but I also got bubbles when I was at the Dollar Tree. And you know, in my mind when I was there, I was like, this is for their Easter basket. And I just like completely forgot that and gave it to him when I got home. And he's been, obviously, going crazy with the bubbles. So he did not want to help me anymore. Um, so it's just me. <laughs> Which is fine because I didn't want him to see these dinosaurs because I knew he was going to want one. And I think there is an extra one for him, but I just didn't really want to open those yet. And dinosaurs? I mean, not dinosaurs. Um... Valentine's little things have come a long way from since I was a kid because we would have never had anything like this. Like we just had the basic like paper ones that say to and from. Um, but I thought these were pretty cool. I wanted something like fun like this. They had other ones, but I needed something from pre for preschoolers. So I went with these. Um, I thought these were fun. So I have this. I have some crazy straws. Some this which the candy was really picked over because I waited the last minute because you know everybody had already bought theirs so this wasn't necessarily like what I wanted to give preschoolers but it's one of the only options they had that and dum-dums and I have some fruit snacks I think I'm gonna throw in there also and then I found these little like Jocelyn Valentine's notepads at the Dollar Tree Oh, and then the little bags are from the Dollar Tree also. Um, and then so are these, but these were actually cheaper at the Dollar General. Because I went to the Dollar Tree first, and then I went to the Dollar General after, and then these were a dollar at the Dollar General, a dollar twenty-five at the Dollar Tree. So, FYI. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just going to fill these up. And oh God. Hey guys. We are back. It is officially Valentine's Day today. And um, oh, me and Aspen just got back from Walmart because I just got Joey's Valentine's Day from the last minute. Kind of gal over here. Um, and I'm about to put a roast in the crock pot because I thought that would be a good dinner tonight. And everybody will be happy you know hopefully <laughs> when I forget to look for something before I go to the store to make sure I have it and that was carrots this time and I was like the second guess of myself I'm like I think we have carrots but I'm gonna be so aggravated if I get home and we don't have carrots so I bought a small bag just in case I hate when I do that but Whatever, I would have been more annoyed with myself if I had a got home and we didn't have any carrots for the stew. So I got this pot roast. Um, I always try to find the cheapest one I can find because these things are expensive. So I feel like I get a different one every time. But this one was $12 um, and it's beef top round London broil. I don't know. It sounded like something I don't think we've used before. So... 
I'm sure it still tastes the same. Um, I usually just throw a bunch of carrots in there. And... And potatoes. Okay, and then I throw in some beef stew seasoning and um, some kind of broth. Beef broth, obviously, would probably be best, but I rarely have beef broth, so I'm just going to do chicken broth. Um, and I just try to make sure the meat is coated so it doesn't get, like, sticky and burnt. Just, you know, put this in here on high. You could do low, but I like to do high because sometimes I feel like... It just needs to cook longer by the time it's done. So I just do high. Um, so I'm going to let that cook. So I went to get Joey's Valentine's Day present, y'all. I had a whole plan for this Valentine's gift for like, watch out, for a few weeks now, right? I was going to do a book bouquet. I think I even mentioned it in my last vlog. I had the book in mind, the books in mind that I wanted to do. But I wanted to go to Target. Well, I don't have time to go to Target because it's currently 9.47 and I have to be at Axel School at 10.15. Um, and we left at 8 o'clock this morning. Target's like a 40-minute drive. Like, I just did not have time. First of all, the selection at Walmart was a joke. Second of all, Joey has this thing that he can get, like, I don't even know how he does it. He just, like, gets free books on PDF. I don't know how he does it. If you want to know how he does it, I will, like figure it out for you guys. I'll let him explain it in the vlog. So comment down below if you want to know how Joey does this. But somehow or another he can get free PDFs on our Kindle for like any book you can think of. Like new books, everything. So all the books that I knew that he wanted, he had already got for his Kindle because he got a Kindle for his birthday. So it just did not work out <laughs> the way I wanted it to. So I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to go a different route. So I'm just going to do a little basket. Um, I got some of his favorite candy. I did pick up this book. I know he likes Nora Roberts. And um, I looked on his Goodreads. And this is on his want to read list. But I forgot to check the Kindle. So I hope it's not on the Kindle. I'm just not even going to look and just act surprised if he's not what else. <laughs> so I got him that. He read The Inheritance mine were Roberts and I think he really liked that so I figured he would like this um so I got him this I got him this little Valentine's Day classic heart um I got him these Hershey nuggets they look good and then I got his favorite nerds these are both of our favorites we love these so I got him this um and then also I have the book light that I showed you guys um he's seen it but I'm just gonna throw it in there anyway so I got him that and then which, these aren't new candy, but I think they're new as far as, like, the packaging. Because I've never seen them in a bag like this. So I picked those up. Um, and I found this little bucket to put everything in and some tissue paper. So I'm just going to, oh, and then I got some ribbon to tie around. So I had started out gathering the supplies in my cart, which is why it took us so long in Walmart, for the book bouquet. And I had just picked out, like, two other random books that I thought he might would like. And I started to realize the supplies are more expensive than the actual bouquet itself. Like, I had to get paper, like, brown paper. And I was like, this is just getting too expensive for not even anything that you're going to use. You know what I mean? Like, you're not going to use the paper. You're not going to use the ribbon. Like, I was like, you know what? So I put the other two books back. And I just kept this book because I figured he would definitely like this. Plus, it's on his want to read list. So I know he's at least heard of it. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm just going to do that. You know, just keep it simple. I'm like, I'm not even going to worry about the book bouquet anymore. So let's arrange this cute white. Okay. Girl, get out of there. I think that's a little small, huh? Okay, we might have to let the people out. <laughs> Aspen, no, no. Oh, 
and I also have that card, so I need to fill that out as well. How cute. Okay, I'm gonna tie this ribbon around it. I honestly should have put this ribbon back because I didn't really need it anymore after I decided not to do the bouquet. Cute. I don't know. I mean, it's not the best. I gotta get his card there as well. And it's just gonna look like that. So, you know, nothing special, but it's his favorite thing. Books, chocolate, candy. I mean, it'll work, you know? <laughs> so I am cooking. I just laid Aspen down for a nap. I'm really hoping she doesn't wake up while I'm cooking. Um, so I added my dinner in the crock pot, right? But then someone messaged me and they don't have any food. So here I am making some breakfast, lunch, and dinner for them. House is a disaster now because I've been cooking. So I have some meatball soaps right here. Um, I've made a sausage, an egg, like breakfast burritos, and cheese, like sausage, egg, and cheese. Um, currently putting the provolone on these meatball subs, which I ran out of subs, so we decided to use the hot dog buns for the rest of them. And currently boiling my water for the spaghetti. I thought I could get away with like spaghetti because I could do like part of the sauce for the meatball subs, but I ended up having to use a whole nother thing of sauce. So, just, you know, cooking three meals over here. Don't mind me. Did they ask for three meals? No. But can I do anything? Half asked? Also, no. Like, if I'm going to make you some food, I'm going to make you some food. I also saved a burrito for myself for lunch because I have not had lunch yet. Um, so, I'm going to pop these in the oven for like five minutes just so they can get some, like, you know, meltiness going on. I have no idea what I'm going to put this in because I want to get, like, I want to put it in my good Tupperware and not have my good Tupperware anymore. You know what I mean? I figured this out. Alexa, set timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Good enough. All right. By the way, the artist Nat King Cole released new music. Would you like to hear it? No. By the way, I just told Alexa to play country music and she starts playing Beyonce. <laughs> okay. Beyonce. Her new song, which I guess is considered country. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, but I also think it's going to be one of those songs that just kind of grows on you as you keep hearing it. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be singing along there. So I'm just playing it. I'm also cleaning out my pantry because... It needs a good cleaning out, like food that's about to expire that we're not going to eat. So I'm just going to throw that in with everything because that way it's not going to waste, you know, and it might go to waste here. So that's what I'm currently doing, but I've got to clean up this mess because when you're cooking like multiple things at a time, like um, different meals, your kitchen becomes a disaster. So I got to do that. I also got to bag up my visa. These are like all the burritos. I don't even know how many I made. Let's see. Three, four, five, six. Six burritos. <laughs> They're definitely not going to be hungry for a few days. And then I have five subs. And then spaghetti. And I'm debating if I want to do garlic bread or not. I have to see how much garlic bread we have. Because I'm also trying to think, like, what do we have here? Like... Inventory wise, like I don't want to give away all of our food, you know what I mean? I'm so excited. I found some of these. So I think I think that should be enough for the spaghetti. I might have to do two of them. But at least I don't think it's my top of here.
y'all. <laughs> I am so stressed out. I've been like so stressed all day, all day. <laughs> so I had an interview last week. These interviews are driving me nuts. I've had like three or four interviews with the same company. Okay, I had an interview last week. I was supposed to have, so that interview went good. So now I have a virtual interview on Tuesday, which is tomorrow. So after the interview I had on Thursday, the HR told, lady told me that she was gonna be emailing me a link to join the virtual call on Tuesday. Well, I have not received a link and it's two o'clock, one o'clock on Monday. And I'm like, I need this link for multiple reasons. One, because I need to make sure I have it and I'm ready to go for tomorrow. <laughs> I also need to make sure that I have the whatever kind of like program they use. I, I wanna say she said they use Microsoft Teams. I need to make sure I have the link so I can make sure I can set everything up in time for tomorrow because the interview is supposed to be first thing in the morning at 9 a.m. And I'm like, I need all this stuff so I can be prepared. <laughs> I have tried. Okay, well, first of all, I was like thinking last night, I'm like, okay, I'll just call the number back that she called me on Thursday from for the phone interview. I called that number. It does not ring. Nothing rings for this number. So I'm like, okay. Well, so I was trying Googling it. Usually you can Google and like find people's office emails or their office phone numbers. And I cannot find anything. Like I found, I like, I know she works there. Like I know it's real. Like I found her LinkedIn page and everything, but I cannot find like her actual contact information. Like it's all hidden. So I'm like stressed out. So I called the corporate number because she's out of corporate like the corporate office, which is not even in the state. And she, someone answers in HR and like they, they don't even really verify that this is the right place that I'm calling because I honestly don't even know. Like I'm assuming it is, but I don't know for sure. There's multiple locations for this company. So she's like, she takes my phone number and my name and she's like, I'll give her the message. And that was first thing this morning. And I know people were busy, blah, 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 but like, you don't understand me. Like I have to over plan and ever prepare for everything. And I haven't heard back yet. And I'm like stressed out, <laughs> stressed out, stressed So I e <laughs> messaged someone that I know that used to work for this company. They don't even work for this company anymore. And I'm like, hey, can you please help me? So I'm hoping that they can help me somehow. Like, I don't even know because they're not, like, in the same office, if that makes sense, without giving everything away. Like, ugh. I was on TikTok, and I seen this really cool um, girl. <laughs> she had this really cool, like, charm necklace on. Or she was showing her jewelry. I don't remember. Something. It might have been a jewelry tour. I don't know. You guys know I love jewelry. Well, the first thing that caught my eye was she had, like, um, like a monogram on her charm necklace and I was like oh my god and it just like got me thinking because back when these like monogram necklaces were super popular I got one for Christmas oh, back in like what 2012 it's kind of dingy maybe I can clean it I don't know but I got one of these and it's a little big so I don't know if it's gonna work the way I want it to it won't be too big um but I thought, oh, that would be cool for a charm necklace, and I've been wanting to make one, but I wanted to, I don't want to go to, like, Michael's and Hobby Lobby and get the charms. That's what a lot of people are doing on TikTok, and they're cute. They turned out cute, but that's just not the vibe that I wanted to go with. Like, I like the more vintage style, and I feel like some of them are kind of, I don't know how to explain it, just, like, too kitschy. They're too kitschy, I think, is the word that I'm looking for. So they're not really the vibe that I wanted to go with. And then all of a sudden it hit me, oh my God. Cause okay, I was looking at the charm lots on eBay, like vintage charms and they were pretty cheap. And I think I bid it on one set, but I didn't win it. So I just was like, whatever. Um, so I kind of like forgot about it until I seen this video. And then I thought about, oh my gosh, I could go through my grandma's jewelry because I have this, this vintage jewelry box for my grandma that was like, left to me and there's so much stuff in here and like i've already picked through this like years ago um years ago and i found some good pieces like there's these tulip earrings that were these tulip earrings were in there and i've worn these a ton so i kind of keep them in here just so i don't lose them um so there's some good stuff in here but there's always 
been some like extra charms and stuff for necklaces like pendants in here that I've never really known what to do with and it just hit me last night oh my god these would be perfect for a charm necklace because like I don't know what else to use them for you know so I'm gonna show you I've already looked through this like I pulled this out today because I wasn't I didn't remember what was in here and guys there's some awesome stuff in here like you guys are gonna flip out if you're into this kind of thing um like i'm just loving the necklaces everybody are, is making you guys are gonna freak out when you see these charms they're so cool okay i'm gonna start off with this one and i have no idea why this is significant like why she had this maybe this was the year she retired it's 98 like I was the youngest I was born in 92 so it's nobody's birth year so I don't know who's this is like who, what year if you know leave a comment if you're watching this and your family I want to say it's a retirement charm but I could be wrong so I thought about using that but I don't really have any like it doesn't signify anything for me personally so I don't know but then we have these like simple like pendant necklace ones I could use something like that, but they get better. This watch pendant, I could probably put a new battery in that. How cool, like that is not something you would find at Michael's. <laughs> this is definitely vintage. So there's that one. There's this one. I thought this was unique. It has pink in it, so that would be fun to add some color to it. There's this one, which I honestly love. <laughs> This one says number one mom. So this was my grandma's. So I don't know who gave this to her, but definitely put that up there. Um, and then, oh, there's this one. I love this one. It's just like a little diamond. You can see that. This one's just like a little diamond pendant. That would be really pretty. Um, I'll show you guys the unicorn. I think I did. It's like a glittery unicorn. Now, this one's the funny one. I'm gonna, <laughs> I would not wear this with the picture in it. This is a picture of my brother when he was a child. He looks a lot like Axel to me. Um, <laughs> but I like the pendant. I like the pendant itself. I don't know how you would change it because I can't figure out an opening but I think that would be really cute on the necklace if I like change the picture but I don't even know like how you would print something that small and I also don't really want to mess this up so <laughs> but I'm not wearing this on my neck with my brother in it it's a little weird so thought that was cute and there's a, this one this is another favorite it's like a heart with the really pretty like turquoise stone that's gonna be so cute and then this isn't a pendant, but I just had to show this to you guys, and I can't find the other one. I have to, I'm going to have to, like, pour everything out of here and just kind of separate it better because it's kind of a mess. But I found this earring, and I have to find the other one because how sticky cute is that? It's like a bow, so it's very trendy with the bows right now. So I have got to find the other one for this. I'm really hoping it's in here, but I haven't came across it yet. Um, but that would be so stinking cute. So... I think that was all that I found. Like I said, I need to like pour this out and really just go through it better. Um, five. So I'm gonna figure out a way to change that one. That's a pendant, so I don't know if those would work. I'll say earring, but like that's still on the necklace. Kind of. What are we? What are we thinking? Let's put this somewhere else because that's two small ones. Um, I have a lot of hearts. <laughs> See this number one mom. Put that there. But we also have this. But I think this might be too big. I don't know. But it could be like the centerpiece. You know? What are we thinking? Definitely going to have to move some of this around because those are like chunkier than these. What do we think? Maybe we're going to have to move that because that's going to be heavy. How's that? How cute would that be as a little charm necklace? 
I have to figure that this one might have to go because I don't really want to mess it up, but I also don't want to wear my brother around my neck. So <laughs> I'm going to take that out. <laughs> um, I don't know. What do we think? That would be super cute. Hey, <laughs> I feel like I can finally breathe again, which is so nice because I feel like I've been so stressed like the last few days. I really need to go to the grocery store so bad and I did not get to go yesterday because of me stressing out literally all day because of the stinking interview <laughs> that I had today. And it's finally over. I just got done with it. I think it actually went pretty good. It was virtual. So I didn't really, I wasn't as nervous, you know? I, I love a good virtual interview. Although the last virtual interview I had, I didn't get, so who knows? <laughs> um, but yeah, I just feel like I've been so stressed out. And yesterday really stressed me out with that, not having the link to join the team call. And then, oh my gosh, hopefully I didn't immediately get disqualified because one of us was having connection, not connection issues, but just like issues. Um, like I couldn't hear her, she couldn't hear me, but I didn't want to be like, I think it's you because I really did think it was her. But I allowed access to my microphone and to the video. Like it should have been working on my end. Um, and I could like hear my computer make noise. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the deal was. Um, we ended up like, she ended up having to call me and we just like videoed. So hopefully that didn't just immediately disqualify me. <laughs> Who knows? I think like the interview itself went pretty good. So we'll see. Um, I'm currently putting some chili in the crock pot for dinner. Yes, I am still sick. The sickness in this house, I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but after we um, went to the story time, Two weeks ago at this point, <laughs> Aspen got sick and I'm pretty sure it was because she was like trying to put everything in her mouth and I was trying to stop her, but you know, not fast enough. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure because a few days later she ended up getting sick first and then it traveled through all of us and then we were feeling better for a few days and I'd be dang if it didn't come back. Anyways, hopefully the interview went good and we'll see what happens. Like I'm not gonna, you know, it is what it is at this point. <laughs> so this is the necklace I didn't ever show you guys yesterday. Why is it all, it's like all flipped around for some reason now. What happened? Um, this is my little charm necklace. So I added this pink card. I forgot I had this. This is a Capricorn charm that fell off a necklace that I had bought from Alex and Annie so I put that up there this the centerpiece is the heart which is so trendy but this is like the vintage one um I added the number one mom and then this one which was driving me nuts it went on backwards so I'm gonna have to fix that but I can't fix it right now because I need more of the little circle things to connect it. So I think I'm going to eventually like add to this once I get those little pieces. Um, because some of them I couldn't put on. Like I wanted to put the watch one on but I couldn't put it on because I didn't have a charm or a link I guess you'd call it. So it's definitely not done. I think I'm going to move some stuff around and add the watch to it. And this one is like an actual like 10 karat gold charm that Joey got me. Um, but the necklace that it came on broke. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna put that up here. And it just has my birthstone, Axel's birthstone, and Joey's birthstone. This was before Aspen came along. So yeah, I thought it must be really cute. And it's also kind of hard to put on because I put everything on backwards because usually I would clasp it this way, but it's backwards that way. So I, I didn't think of that when I was adding the charms. To it so I'm definitely gonna have to tweak it a little bit but other than that it turned out really cute and even though this is a really cheap chain I like the style of it and it's definitely like I'm gonna keep an eye out for a nicer um chain I think but I like this style so I don't know I think it turned out really good so I'll definitely be wearing that I just I'm kind of scared to wear it right now because some of the little connectors are kind of wore out and I don't want to lose a charm so I might wait until I can get it fixed up really nicely before I wear it but I think it turned out really cute I'm excited about it it's definitely got that vintage 
but and even if I took these off just this green charm by itself is so stinking cute um and it's like so so cute I love that so that's how it turned out so cute okay not the best angle because y'all are sitting low um but I was editing this video and I was gonna end it I think I don't know I have to see how much footage I have but I just got a Timu package in the mail um and I wanted to open it with you guys because these are the LED string lights that I found on Timu um so I'm interested to see how these are they're a small box so I'm not, I don't have high hopes um but we'll see how this is gonna look um I got these for the backyard oasis wow those hurt. Oh, there's a lot of lights in this. Okay, they're not bad. They're not bad. I guess I probably can't even really show them because I don't know if they're charged. I would assume not. So they're solar paneled. I thought they were going to be like the big bulbs, but they're the small ones, which I don't hate because it seems like there's a lot more light with the smaller ones. Wow, oh, these are gonna be super long. I might not even need another strand. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot longer than I thought it would be. Not gonna lie. So it comes with the solar thing. And I mean <laughs> I'm assuming they need charging because they're not working. So I didn't have to figure that out. But it also comes with a stand that you connect this to um, and a stake where you can stake it into the ground. But I think what I'm going to do, I might not use the stand because I need to get out there and try this out. So I'll probably put that in the video as well. But I want to, I'm probably going to zip tie them if I have zip ties. I think I do zip tie them to the like equipment out there. Um, so I'm, I'm probably not going to use this because I'll probably zip tie this like on top of the playground set so it can really get some sun because I feel like with it being close to the ground, also I don't know if it'll reach. It might though because that's actually pretty long. I'm actually impressed. I mean, it did tell me the length and everything when I bought this. I just, <laughs> I didn't care. I'm like, I'm going to buy it either way. So we'll see i'll put it up for you guys probably this afternoon um Okay, so we got them hung up, but I think they were supposed to be double layered, but I unraveled them, so now I don't really have to buy another strand because I had enough to, like, bring back to the other side. And we'll see tonight when they're, like, actually lit up how they work. Um, I think they look pretty cute. Okay, so I read the instructions. <laughs> And I figured out that they do work. You have to cover the solar panel for it to pop on because it automatically pops on in the dark. So they charge all day and then they'll pop on in the dark once the solar panel doesn't have light on it. So that's pretty cool. And there's different modes. They can blink a few different ways and then they just stay straight on. So I just turned them to stay straight on for now. But I mean, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> I think they were like 10 bucks, but honestly, for how long they were, that was like awesome for the price because I, I thought I was going to have to buy another one because I wanted to like double wrap it. And I don't even think I'm going to need any more. I mean, because really it's for the summer when it's warmer out here at night and we're grilling and stuff. So I don't think we're going to be out here too often at night, but it's really just for the looks, you know? So yeah, I think they turned out pretty good.